Do not attempt to adjust your screen. Forbes DVD Live is taking over. Yeah, that record took me back just now. Okay. So, 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 the, so the biggest question right now, um, mm -hmm. are we going to get another CNN album? Yeah, it's already done. We actually did an EP. I, I apologize. I can't hear myself, so I'm sure y'all can't hear me. Could you, can't, uh, could you hear yourself? Yeah, nah, nah, okay. nah, yeah, yeah, nah, I was speaking away from the mic. Okay. That's why. Um, you know, um, Capone, Capone got, finally got his passport, and when he got his passport, uh, I sent it to a couple of promoters that, you know, because uh, you know Capone Noriega is huge in Europe. I don't know if you know how, like when, once you label a classic, yeah, in hip hop, you just you huge travel forever. over there. Yeah, yeah. Over there. you I go know. always. I it's know. a fact. Yeah. So um, you know, obviously you either that missed a lot of money then. Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, he didn't have his passport. God, <laughs> God bless you for getting your passport. Hold on, hold on. How long didn't he have his passport? For like three, four years. So y'all wow. missed three, four years worth of cheddar. I mean, Nori was and that was collected. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Talking about Capone and Noriega. Yeah, I, I like that Capone and Noriega money because I don't gotta do a lot of Nori joints. I don't gotta hold down the whole show. Yeah. I could take a break. I could uh. You know, let him do his solo stuff, and do, so he. Fi so bottom line is, he finally got his passport. I sent out to a promoter. A promoter came back. The first offer we got was forty-five dates. Wow! Wow! And I was like, this is kind of crazy. So he said to me, playing around, he said, "Yo, we gotta have some new music." And I said, "All right, cool." I didn't have time at the time. Um, we were, were finishing up the Good Belt project. We were mixing, and then as soon as I finished it, I said, "Fuck it, let's just do it." And we did a whole EP in one night. So uh, March. Uh, next month, or uh, uh, what's the month? The month after March, you look smart. <laughs> April. April. <laughs> <laughs> All right. nah. So, so either either late March or, or April, the CNN will come out, and then we got the Good Belt project coming out, and then we're gonna work on these brothers' solo projects right after. How many times has um, CNN broke up? Uh, never really. We just broke up in public, but like at the end of the day, Capone is really my family. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So. Um, I don't think we can break up, but we have arguments all the time, and I just I just feel like it's just that our relationship is public. But every brothers have arguments, yeah. you know. As what you saying? should, if you As really real with your brother. Yeah, because yeah. If, if you never had an argument with a dude, your relationship is fake. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I can't agree with everything you do, and you're not supposed to agree with everything I do. You know what I'm saying? You should, you should voice your opinion. The problem is Capone is actually older than me, what a lot of people don't think. Wow. A lot of people don't know Capone is actually older than me, but I'm just so controlling. Yeah. I can't help it. Like, I'm just controlling. Like, I, I didn't want to walk in without everybody being here. I didn't yeah, want yeah, to pull yeah. up without... It's just something that I can't help. And I so I get where he's coming from when I'm the dude controlling it, and he's I, he's actually my older He's older, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, um, give me a record CNN did that... You don't like? Mmm. Damn, I got a lot of them. I just can't think of them. Uh, damn, man. I'm sorry to the fans. <laughs> I, uh, I hated Thug Paradise. Wow. Um, with, <laughs> with, with Tragic Capone. Wow, are you serious? That's a, I, hated, a I, st I hated that record. Wow. <laughs> I hated that record. Um, oh, shit. It was Tragic Capone's record. Uh, the war report dropped. Okay. And the record label was like, we want to put Nori on there, but uh -huh. I felt like they should have stood on their own. But the record label forced me to do it. So I, when I did the verse, I, I never liked it, and I never really promoted it. Neither. Yeah, he's like, like I never. Was, I don't know shit about that. Yeah, record. like <laughs> yeah, I always try to avoid it. And when I perform, people are like, dude, do Thug Paradise. I would just switch the subject. I'm gonna do this for you, though, homie. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. What's your yeah. What's your favorite CNN record? Uh, y'all don't um y'all don't want to fuck. It's a it's a it's a it's a, it's a three way tie. And I, I I just I know it's a cliche to say that, but it's y'all don't want to fuck with us. T R N Y and the ultimate sleeper is the invincible, untouchable CNN by uh, D J Premier. Mine's a sticker. Um, uh, stick, you. stick you, stick you, stick you, call me. stick you. Yeah. My, that's my favorite. But my favorite Good Belt rank record right now is a joint called Into That. I'm hoping you're trying to download the joint or something. Yeah, we we got to get into some Good Belt thing. But um, yeah, man, that's crazy. That's a great question. I've never been asked those questions. Um, Calm Down mm -hmm. is your record. Yeah, Calm but Down. But we always think it's yeah. Trad's record or Nas record. You know, uh, um, it's, it's, it's a classic story. Rest in peace to eat money bags. But um, what happened was... Uh, E Money Bags, you know, was holding down Nas at the time. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And um E Money Bags is from Left Rack. Okay. He 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 claims Brooklyn too and uh, I heard he was from Brooklyn too, but he, he's born and raised in Left Rack for real. And um so he brought Nas to the studio, we did a record, 
and um, E Money Bags was actually on the record. Mm. So what happened was eventually Trash had took him off the record, and um, Trash put himself on the record. Oh, you know shit. what I'm yeah. saying? So that's like that's like City Boy D. He's the closest right right here. So I'm gonna use you as an example. Um, that's like City Boy D doing a record. And I tell him, Yo, you know, I don't like him on the record, so I'm gonna take him off. But it's a big artist on there, which Nas was huge at the time. Yeah. And um, so uh, yeah, a lot of people they they because Trash put it out like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once once um, what happened was Nas didn't clear the record. Oh shit. So when it came time, that's supposed to be on the War Report album. So when it came time wow. to, to make a clearance, Nas said no. So I was always confused because I didn't know what a clearance was. I didn't know you do a record and you got to so get permission. Get permission. Yeah. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. So once they said no, what Trash did was, which, which is probably the right thing to white do. White label. He white labeled it and he, he put his, his cell phone there so if anybody got sued, it would be him. So in retrospect, it was the right thing to do. But, but that's a Nori record. But in public, it looked it just it just looked it like he was just terrible. It looked like he was just you know making it, all types of robberies. Um, you back on the, the chorus shit? Yo, yo, oh, yo, my <laughs> nigga. Yo, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, my dude. I did an interview with him. You was there when we did the Lord video, right? Yeah. And he said, Yo, Nori, why you ain't doing choruses no more? And I was like, Huh? And I, I, I he fucked me up in the middle of the interview. I don't know if you can see my face, but I was like. And you, you stayed in my head. You fucked me yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. So now I'm doing mad hooks again. Yo, you you had it though. Like you yeah. you had it. And Pharrell spoiled me. I started yeah. working with Pharrell and he mm -hmm. always had the hook. So I was like, what do I need to come up with a it hook? Was, it was Ice Down Medallions. Right, right. Fat Joe. It's right. classic shit that I'm right. like, yo, that right. I can't picture the record without you. Yo, and, and you know what? I'm not gonna lie, I owe you all to that. I'm 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 just look, you. I'm just happy to contribute to the game. I was gonna say that on somebody else's interview. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was gonna be like because I'm back on my hook game crazy. Yeah. A lot of a lot of they shit, you know what I'm saying? A lot of this good belt uh, gang shit, I just I wanted to um, give that part of me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I see music. I can't I don't like I write music but I see music. Like when I hear a beat, yeah, it just comes to me. So um it's easy for me to do it. You, you know like what I'm saying? Cannon and drum line. Yeah, like like <laughs> Can't read the music, but if I watch yeah. it, I'll, I'll know how to do it. I like your style, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I like, like your reference. Because Team ADD. Because, yeah. um, like, Royal Flush, Ice Down mm. Medallion is one of my right. favorite records ever. Ah, oh, man. That's so, right. I just listened to that shit, and, and um, even the Miserini Company, I'm right. like, yo, Nori killed this right. shit. Right, right. Fuck happened? Nah, I just, I just, I, 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 you know what? To keep it 100, I became lazy because most, and then, and then you know what it is? Most people want to recreate with me and Pharrell created so I, I just hate when people like give me a neptune sounding beat and then give me a neptune sounding hook because why should i take your shit if i could get the original yeah like what the, what the fuck i want with you know pumas if i could get what Nikes. what part 67 and yeah, shit. I, don't, yeah. I, I don't i don't i don't need none of that or or um was did you you mm -hmm. didn't discover Pharrell, did you? Well, I, I, a lot of people give me the credit for discovering Pharrell. Pharrell was already out, and he was writing records for like people like uh, Teddy Riley yeah, yeah, yeah. and all these other people. And I heard about that. I heard about this guy who was supposed to be like phenomenal on the beats. And when I met him, it threw me off to keep it 100% with you because I was the dude with the super baggy pants. I was the dude with the Timberlands, with the, with the, with the, with the stuffed gum under there. Yeah, yeah, I was the yeah, dude yeah. with the razors and the, and the sneakers and the razors on the bottom of my tongue. So when I see a dude who got on tight shirts and tight... and he Smooth had, face and shit. Like, like. He, he had a choker on back in the days. Like he had a, yeah. he had a choker. You know what a choker is? That's the shit that, yeah. that you don't breathe right yeah. here. That's why it's called... It's on his Adam's yeah, apple. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's why it's called a choker. <laughs> and um, I just listened to him for he, he just he just always was weird to me. Yeah. Like he never became unweird to me. He still is weird to me, but it was weird in a way that I can be like, all right, cool. I get it. You know what I'm saying? So um I um I definitely can claim that uh we had our first hit together. One line you said that I never got, Neptune's got a cock of spaniel. All right. What um, the hell you talking about? Very simple. At the time in my hood, niggas was calling Hammers, uh, guns, okay. K-Tones, or they was calling it hammers. So one day the police was chasing niggas, and the dude was like, yo, yo K-Tone is in the grass. And the police caught on. They was uh -huh. like, 
It was like, so I was like, yo, we got to stop using K Tone. So we started calling guns dogs. Okay. So we would call a deuce deuce, like a, a chichi wawa. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We would call a four fifth, a rock yeah, yeah, So yeah. we, it was just a small period of time. So I, that's why I said I light a candle. Because like, when you light a candle in my hood, that's for a dead nigga. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? So light a candle. I run laps around the English Channel. I'm so, I'm so. Because I just lost a nigga, so I'm so pumped up for, for people who travel. The English Channel is the, one of the biggest bodies of water in, overseas. So I, I light a candle, I run laps around the English Channel, and Neptune's, I got a cock of Spaniel. So, okay. I, so you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. I just lost a, okay. I lost a friend. You know what I'm saying? Niggas thought I'd be stupid, right? <laughs> 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 Niggas thought I'd be stupid as we thought. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Cause that's the best. That's the best role I play is the stupid nigga. Yeah. But see, like, like, like they always say, man. You know what I mean? Uh, a, a wise well, man can play the role of a fool, fool but a fool can never play the role of a wise man. Facts. So yeah. you know, I did. I, I never really explained it because I know niggas was like, "Yo, this nigga Nori just be yeah. making up shit." And I was like, "Fuck it, let's ride with it. I'm gonna make up nigga." You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. And, and that was it. Bro. That's what it is. So we got Nori in the Good Belt Gang. Yes, yes. Building. We gonna get. We gonna... You got some um, Good Belt Gang over there? Nah, we ain't get that. I don't not yet. But what I do have. You got the instrumental? Do, I have the joint he did with Buster called Manners. Okay. Uh, okay. That's okay let's get into. I love that shit. Okay. That's on a good. That's then, that, so you got some Good Belt Gang. Then. And then you got right. some instrumentals, right? Yes. I, I know the battle sure. rappers be up here like this. Oh, they going do they know crazy. All right. So yeah, let's get some of that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's get into that right now. Then I'm on the beat, and wreck y'all. Got a music. Doggy Diamonds, Frank Big, and wreck. Hey yo, Teflon slugs, leaving you lame scarred. His man owe him bread, left him dead in the train yard. The world is fucked up, but you can't even blame God. Cokehead Joe, steady sniffing that cane hard. He used to be a boxer, that's barred and trained hard. He won the Golden Gloves, the whole town showing love. He was the mill ticket.